everybody, welcome to Ocala Garage. My name is Thomas. Uh, so today I think uh, we are gonna start working on putting in the pedal box. Um, we'll see how far we get on that. I don't think it's gonna be super difficult. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's the next thing in the, uh, in the book to, uh, to get done. So we'll, uh, we'll work on that. And before I get started though, a couple people have asked for kind of a, a bigger wide shot to see where I'm at with the car. Uh, and uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that for you real quick. Hang on. All right, well, so here's the whole front end completed. Well, as completed as I have so far. Uh, but that's, that's finished, got the string rack in, the front suspension. Uh, still obviously don't have the, uh, you know, any of the steering components in, but uh, we got that in place. I took out, I drilled all of the aluminum panels and I've taken them off to be Cerakoted. Uh, I've picked out a, what I think is going to be a cool color. We'll see. Hopefully it is. Because once it's there, it's staying. Uh, I've left most of, the, most of the aluminum panels here in uh, you know, the passenger compartment. I haven't drilled any of those out yet. But that's going to be soon. Uh, the rear end, I've got, got my solid rear axle, 8.8 uh, Mosier, uh, with 355 gears. I went ahead and put uh, you know, the brakes on and I hung the, uh, the shocks and then I've got the control arms in place but I'm still missing, I'm missing my upper link uh, and a handful of nuts and bolts so I can't mount that yet. Uh, fuel tank is in place. I've got, uh, you know, a different fuel pump hanger uh, than what was, what comes with the kit and uh, there's links to those below. I've got my vent line in. I've started working on bending um, my uh, my fuel lines and getting those run up in the uh, transmission tunnel. Hopefully the way I've run them will be fine. I should have pretty good clearance underneath the pumpkin. Uh, I'm a little concerned that uh, it might come a little bit too close. Uh, so we might have to do some adjusting. I may be buying some new uh, uh, um, stainless steel fuel lines and rerouting them a different way. Um, I may cut this off a little shorter and raise this hanger up some so this moves up about an inch higher. Uh, that might give me clearance. Uh, we'll see. Some of this stuff I'm making decisions without knowing quite where everything is going to be when it's in place. So we're kind of doing a little guesswork. Uh, so that's kind of about it. Um, I've got a, my stack of boxes over here. Stuff that I shouldn't need for a while. I've got like the carpet and the seats. I don't recall what's in those lower couple boxes. I think there's some more stainless steel panels down there, or sorry, aluminum panels. Um, got some vent duct work. Uh, and then just some more aluminum panels that I took off of the back of the car. I'm trying to stay organized, but you know, it's a little difficult. I'm not a super organized person. Uh, this is my exhaust, the external, you know, the uh, muffler and which isn't really much of a muffler. Uh, the headers are also off being Cerakoted or you know, ceramic coated. So they're gonna actually match the aluminum panels. And then I've got some other steel like the doors and stuff that's being powder coated. Um, hopefully I'll have some video of that process, um, but uh, I don't guarantee that. So that's kind of where we are with the car. Um, it doesn't look like much is done, but uh, I've definitely put in a lot of time. <laughs> So, all right, on to uh, these, uh, this pedal box, which, by the way, gets hung uh, right in here. All right, so I'm looking at the manual, and it's a little unclear if these tabs need to be mounted above or below. So I'm trying to read this, and it says, place the switch mount between the brake pedal mount tabs on the side closest to the brake pedal pivot holes. So I'm thinking that's down below. Drill 3 16 inch hole through the brake switch mount to blah 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 and mount it with these these dudes here. So um, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and mount it underneath, I guess. And see how that goes. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that off camera and I'll show you the uh, end result when I get there. Alright, so we got these mounted, I went ahead and mounted them underneath. I believe that's the way it's supposed to go. Yeah, I believe that's the way it's supposed to go. All right, so now 
we need to put on the little sensors here and uh, I don't know well uh, these are obviously gonna have to be adjusted down the road um, in the book it shows you two different types of uh, switch sensors there's a brake and then the, the clutch one looks a little bit different in the book but they sent two identical ones um, which that's the way it is in the inventory so I'm gonna go ahead and just go with it uh, so you kind of screw this first little dude on then you get this other one screwed on here and then uh, kind of call that good and uh, we'll do the same thing for the clutch and then we'll worry about uh, adjusting those oops, you know down the road so obviously I'll have to move these closer because uh, what happens is it should have it depressed and then when you push the brake it releases it and then that's what triggers the light to come on or the um, starter to engage. So I will come back in just a second with uh, the next steps. So interesting thing, the instructions want you to cut off 5 eighths of an inch off of the end of these uh, brake cylinders. Um, but I think I'm going to not. Uh, so I went ahead and, and screwed this one in. Right, and I don't know. So we'll, I think there's still plenty of, plenty of adjustment left if I, you know, screw this in quite a ways. All the way down, and then it's just a matter of, you know, where you want the the pedal to rest um, so I'm gonna leave these at length for now and uh, we'll see where that takes us in the future but I think that's gonna give me more adjustability with where I can position my brake pedal um, so I'm gonna not cut the end of this off and we're just gonna get that mounted and uh, I probably should put it on the, <laughs> the right way uh, anyways um, so we'll get these, uh, this one on, the next one on, and the clutch cylinder, and uh, uh, we'll come back after everybody's uh, screwed in and secured. We got the three uh, slave cylinders on. Actually, these are the master cylinders. Um, so next is just I'm gonna put the caps on, and I'm gonna go ahead and put the 90 degree fittings on. Let's see, is there a particular way? Don't really know. So, let's see. Pull this thing off. And we'll just thread this on. There we go. And, uh, I will leave it, let's see. Make sure the opening points up when it's tight, which seems to be pretty tight right there. All right, we'll do the same for this next one. And then I'll do the other one and uh, we'll come back. So the clutch uh, cylinder had this cap already mounted, um, but the two brake ones did not. So I guess we will just Put these on. I wonder if I should have done this beforehand. <laughs> oh well, that's all right. Get this on here. Get that. Oh, interesting. There is not much clearance with things here. Okay, so those are on, 
This is what we're looking like, looking like so far. I went ahead and cut the length of the clutch pedal down some, and you can see how it rests a little lower. Uh, but quite frankly, it was going to be super high if I left it the full length. So uh, I think these might need to be cut down, but we'll see once we get this mounted and I get my seat in there and my feet all adjusted and whatever. So I'm going to go ahead and get this stuff fixed up and tightened down and then uh, we'll come back. All right, so let's see if we can get this in with minimal damage to anything. holes lined up. We got some uh, nuts and bolts in here and then we have another plate that needs to be mounted right in here and I'll show you that in a second. All right, I don't know if you can really see but there's the the four nuts and bolts go uh, you know on the, the four corners of this mount plate. Um, even with all the panels off it's a feat of uh, uh, twisting and, and fingertips and different things just to try and get get them uh, in place. So taking this taking this off, <laughs> if I have to do any maintenance on this once the car is all put together, I think that's going to be a bit of a challenge. Next thing we need to do is get this mount plate attached to the pedal box and then drill some holes through this part of the frame rail here and um, then we run some uh, nut and bolt through there and get this mount plate attached firmly to the frame. That should bring some extra rigidity to the pedal box. So I'm going to go ahead and tighten this up and I'm going to mark these off, get it drilled out, and uh, put the nut and bolt in to those. And I think. I think that's it for the pedal box. That should have everything nice and lined up now. I think that's about all I'm going to end up doing uh, on this video. Uh, I hope I hope this was useful. Um, please let me know if you noticed me making any uh, any big mistakes with what I did today. Uh, but I think it all went went pretty smoothly. Um, I had to you know enlarge a couple of holes to make things line up and fit. Um, but uh, all in all, it wasn't too difficult. Just a lot of little components. Um, and then uh, I think next we're going to be doing some uh, some of the body panels on the uh, passenger bay. And uh, I guess we'll see you at the next step. So thanks for tuning in, guys. Uh, hit me up with any comments, suggestions, critiques, uh, you know, all the normal stuff. And, uh, you know, hit the thumbs up and subscribe. And I appreciate you. I hope you guys caught my live that I either probably already did before I get this video out. Uh, yeah. And if you missed it... I'm sorry, there was a giveaway. Um, anyway, catch you guys next time. Thanks for tuning in.